So, before we get into what I'm actually doing in today's video, I actually want to, you know, show you something else. You will always live on. Always. By the way, this took basically all of my gold, you know. And I think Mojang should really add this on Bedrock where you name it Technoblade, you know, got the crown on its head. I think they added that in Java, wish they added it on Bedrock, you know. People will probably just tell me to play on Java. Lads, you know, I started on Bedrock, I'm going to continue on Bedrock at least, you know, until this finishes, you know. Because this is the last season really I'm doing on Bedrock. I don't know if I really play on Bedrock anymore after this season, but yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to play on Java. So, basically, this is where there's going to be the mini Deep Dark Bound, which is going to probably be next episode. But this episode, oh, I'm doing something else. Basically, I'm building a giant fossil. <laughs> That's what I'm building, yeah. Now, first off, I'm going to basically build the, um, like, the outline of it and show like that. Yeah. And, of course, also the pathway. Yeah. And, like, the thing underneath. So, yeah. Alright, as you see here, when I'm digging the pathway, you know, very, very nice, you know, normal flat ground we've been doing all the time. But as you can see here, when I'm digging, I start to do, you know, I start to go up, you know, and this is where I actually use stairs, as you'll see in a minute, as you can see here, using stairs, yeah. So, I'm never going to make this all flat ground, go use stairs when I'm building something like this. And as you can also see here, I decide to make everything here look a bit more natural, you know. I try a bit, it kind of tries to work, you know, it's like I didn't want it to look like, you know, it was kind of man-made, kind of wanted it to look like it was kind of integrated into the hill, you know, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do for this, and here, this is where I decided to do, I said outline before, I feel like, did I say outline, I meant like, you know, the kind of barrier around it, yeah, where I'm going to be using smooth basalt, you know, if it'll place, and also blackstone walls, I've been using a lot of deep slate, and I thought, fuck it, I'll use blackstone this time, since, you know, just change things up a bit, you know. And, uh, you know, I actually decided to use smooth basalt because, you know, I haven't really used that that much, you know. So I thought, hey, I'd use it and I'd use, you know, these lanterns here. Yeah, with the, on top of the two blackstone walls. And, you know, I think it looks nice. I also decided to add buttons on the side, not on the floor. That was a mistake there. That's a mistake I actually think I made twice when doing this. But, yeah, basically add buttons on the side, you know of like the smooth basalt, you know, to add a bit of depth and a bit of texture. I don't fucking know man, like this is just the entrance around this in the actual fossil itself. I'll get to that later, but yeah, essentially this is the kind of shite I do, you know, yeah. And this, well, this is when I decide to put in the chains, you know, the real most important thing, which are very awkward to fucking place sideways, like honestly, you know, it's like Jesus Christ. It's, it's like, it's so difficult, it's so awkward. But yeah, luckily I had enough iron to create these chains, yeah. Didn't even go to a fucking bastion to get these chains. I went to a bastion before, you know. But yeah, they didn't really, you know, get a bunch of chains from there. Mainly used the chains which are crafted. Of course, as well, at the fence gates. Now, now, we add the things for the floor. Which it mainly includes, you know, the lights, you know, the redstone lamps and, you know, basically the tough, you know, the TUFF, that kind of shout, which I've almost never used, yeah. But yeah, basically, I'm going to, you know, create redstone lamps. And whilst digging, you know, like as you can see here, I'm counting how long it is to see if I got the right amount, yeah. But as I dig, you know, second time down, you may notice a bit of a problem, it's not here yet. But yeah, I just dig the dirt. Ah, yeah, as you can see, you know, right above, like, you know, fucking the broom room and the netherwalk farm. Luckily, though, I can just dig to the side, as I soon realise, to place the redstone blocks to actually power the redstone lamps. So, all hope is not lost, you know, as you can see, I'm just digging there. And yeah, why was the redstone blocks not, like, the first thing in my fucking inventory, considering the fact that, you know, it was, like, used to fucking light the redstone block. It's not the redstone blocks, the redstone lamps, you know? Yeah, so it should have been the first thing in my inventory, not the fucking redstone lamps and the glass. Those are the last things, you know, I'd have in my inventory. My inventory, my hot bar, same fucking thing, you know? Yeah, but as you can see, nicely done. And, you know, this, this is where, you know, things kind of get a bit weird, a bit random, you know? I am random jazz, yeah. But, yeah, basically, you know, I just dig 
path. Well, I don't dig a path. I just dig randomly around here. You know, it's kind of create, you know, just randomized pattern, you know, not like have anything be kind of square based. Yeah, that's kind of what it is, as you can see. Doesn't look too bad, you know. Of course, I have to pick up the dirt later, but yeah. As you can see, I do the same for the other side as well, you know. I just dig, you know, just randomly, just sporadically, because, yeah, got an efficiency five nether at shovel. Makes it a lot easier. But yeah, as you can see, just digging, and I believe I'd have enough, you know. Like before, I was like, oh, do I have enough? And it's like, yeah, I've got more in the chest. And the tough, you should know, it's basically fucking everywhere. Like, ever since 1.17 and then in 1.18, it's basically just become more common, you know. Like, because, yeah, it was introduced in 1.17, 1.18 made even more fucking common, thanks to Caden Cliffs Part 2, where the terrain actually fucking changed. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm just picking up the dirt here. This is before I actually decided to place the tough. It's like, oh, just looking around, like, Jesus Christ, just place the dirt, for fuck's sake. Not place the dirt, place the tough, for fuck's sake. Yeah, which is what I eventually decide to do. Yeah. So, it's not really much, it's just me filling that hole. So, now I'm done with the barrier around this, and the floor, and the lighting. I think now it's time to build the actual fossil itself. Alright, as you can see, with the bone blocks just doing this sort of thing. I've actually built this kind of shite in, you know, a few of my survival worlds. I remember... Like, a year and a half ago, in early 2021, I showed off, you know, like, you know, this, like, giant fossil I built in a hardcore world, yeah. And, yeah, my quality was utter shite in that video, at least at the start. I don't know why it was, but, yeah, my quality was glitching out. It does that a lot, though most of the time, you know, it can be alright. I hope it's going up for you, lads, but, yeah, basically, as you can see, it's basically just building a giant fucking rib, rib cage, yeah. That's basically what it is, you know. And if anyone's wondering how I managed to get all these bones and bone blocks, basically, I was going around killing a bunch of fucking wither skeletons, and I've managed to get now fucking 19 wither skeleton heads, you know, skulls. And yeah, I don't need that extra 19th, but I have it anyways. Like, the other 18, they're going to be used for killing six withers, where I'm going to create six beacons, which I'm going to put somewhere on my base. I've thought about putting it it undergrounds but having it you know around the center where you know like the beam kind of shines up so yeah it's kind of nice but as you can see yeah basically i just repeat this fucking design for the rest of you know the build so now that i'm kind of done with the base of you know the fossil i thought i'm gonna add more detail by using some calcite and some glow lichens well what am I doing? Well, I'm basically just replacing some parts of, you know, the fossil with, you know, calcite and also putting, you know, glow lichens on the calcite. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll look nice. So, basically, just randomly going around, you know, just, like, on the fossil, just destroying small parts of it. Which I'm gonna replace with calcite, do not worry, you know. It's all gonna look good, all gonna look nice, you know. As soon as I've actually placed them in, I'm just, like, yeah, looking for more random spots to just destroy, you know? Yeah. I think I'll, like, decide that, you know, want to destroy a few more, you know, afterwards, yeah. But, yeah, as you can see, that looks alright now, and it's got to look even better when, you know, actually filled it in with calcite, so it actually looks like it's, you know, yeah, like it actually fucking fits, yeah. Like how we, like, in Caves and Cliffs, you know, we got fucking calcite. I know it's the wild update now, but I'm glad we got, like, another white block, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah. And with the wild update, we got an actual red wood, you know? Like, in, like crimson wood was mainly fucking pink. Which is alright, but mangrove wood is actually red, you know? Yeah, and I feel like it's a lot nicer. As you can see there, there's a bit of a problem there where I don't want to piece of calcite right next to each other but yeah just have them more sporadic yeah as you can see you know just a few bits left you know and decide to destroy a few more and replace them with calcite yeah it is pronounced calcite right yeah but yeah as you can see already looks all right and now to add even more detail you know i decide you know and there was actually one missing, I didn't realise that at first, I actually decided to put on the glow lichens, you know? Yeah. As you can see, 
all looks very, very nice. Just putting them like on the underside of everything. Yeah. And there is the finished product, you know. Think it looks nice. But yeah, I feel like now is a good time to end off this video, lads. I'll sort out that extra piece missing off camera. But yeah, I'm going to end off this video, lads. Hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, see you.